Hey everyone, this is Devanshi Kesarwani and welcome to my channel Kurdisk. Let's solve the problem task. Firstly, we are given width and cubes and we need to build tower using these cubes. And the condition they have given is that we need to we need to take care of this condition that whenever two cubes we are placing, the upper cube must be smaller than the lower cube. So this is an important condition and we have to follow this condition. And then the other condition is we need to process the cubes in the given order. Okay. And we can always can either place the cube on top of an existing tower or begin a new tower. And we need to display what is the minimum number of towers required. Let's understand this all through with an example. So here we have five as an you need the, that means we will have five cubes and these are the cube size three eight two one five. Let's start building the tower. So first we have this three. So this we have a uh, size three cube. Next we move to the next cube and here we have the size eight. Clearly I can't place this on top of the, this size three cube because the upper cube must be smaller. Therefore no matter what I need to create another tower. So this is of eight size cube. Next we encounter two. Now can I place two over this size three? Yes we can place over the size three and also we can place this on size eight. Since we need to display the minimum number of towers required therefore we will place it on the on the cube which is just just greater. So this two three is just greater right. So we will place this two on this size three cube. Okay. So this is size cube 2. Next we encounter 1 and we can place on this and this. Of course we are going to place on this one. So we will place this size cube of 1. Next last we encounter 5. 5 can we place on this one? No because the upper cube is of size 1. Upper cube is size 1 and the upper cube must be smaller than the lower cube and 5 is a uh, greater therefore we will place on this size 8 so we place this on this so we uh, we see the minimum number of towers here is 2 let's find out how we are approaching to this problem okay so here we have a different example to find the approach so these are cube of size 7, 10 and so on kept back to back each other and we will start we see 7 as this is the first cube so we put this in our let's call this container for the time being and we will see later what type of container we are going to use whether vector, set, map we will see later definitely we are not going to use map but yeah okay so we are putting this in a container then we see the next cube which is which is 10 so can i put this uh, on to 7 no because we want the lower cube to be of bigger size therefore i will create a new tower and i will put this in our container and i will say this is a new tower 10 now we see 20 can I put this on 7? No. Can I put this on to 10? No. So I will create a new tower 20. Now we see 15. So what's your intuition say? Where you're gonna put 15? Obviously the number which is just greater to 15 in this set or in this container we see the number which is just greater to 15 is 20. So we will put this over here. But wait a sec, how do we gonna find this in our code? We will use upper bound. And if you are a new to upper bound, then uh, I would recommend you to watch my video on upper bound. I have created a detailed explanation and it is going to clear all your doubt. So what is upper bound? I will give you a list. It returns an iterator. So it returns an iterator pointing to the value which is just greater to the value passed, which is just greater to the value passed. So in this case, if I say upper bound, of 15 this is going to give the value which is just greater to the value pass. 
so in we will check in this container 7 no 10 no 20 because 20 is 20 is just greater value 250 right so this will give 20 therefore i will put this on 20 and i don't require this 20 anymore i don't require this 20 anymore because now 15 is our new point of checking we will check with this 15 uh, the next cube right so i will remove this 20 okay so let's move forward we have put 15 now we are here we will check for 6 so we will pound uh, we will find the upper bound of 6 so what will be the upper bound of 6 upper bound of 6 would be the value which is just greater to 6 so in this container which value is just greater to uh, 6 7 yes 7 is just greater so we will put this on to here let me remove this you okay. can and let me slide it here these are container and I don't require 7 anymore right because our new point of checking is 6 so I will remove this okay so now we will move forward and we will see 5 whether sh where should I put 5 upper bound of 5 would give in this container now I don't have any uh, 7 anymore it is removed so we have 6 10 and 15 so upper bound of 5 would give the next higher value present in the container so 6 is the value so we will put this on to 6 and I will remove this 6 also from uh, our container because it is not required anymore 5 is our new point of contact okay now we move forward 4 upper bound of 4 upper bound of 4 so upper bound of 4 in this container which has value 5 10 and 15 upper bound of 4 it will be 5 so I will put 4 onto size 5 and I will remove this 5 also because I don't require our new point of contact is 4 then I will move forward and I will have encounter 8. So upper bound of 8. What is upper bound of 8? Upper bound of 8 in this container which has which has which has 4, 4, 10 and 15. So 4, 10, 15. Upper bound of 8 is, will give 10, right? So I will put this in over to 10 and I will remove this 10. And we are end of the array so what's our answer our answer would nothing but the size of our container and that is what our number of tasks size of container in this case we have three I hope the intuition is clear uh, we are we are checking uh, we are just calculating the upper bound in from our container and then we remove that because that number is not required uh, in the container anymore let's move forward but what should be the container okay let's see in the next slide so container can I use vector and if you have watched my that lower bound and upper bound video I won't say that you should use vector because if you are gonna use vector then it doesn't work in log n time complexity it works in o of n time complexity so you will get time limit exceed error so vector is scratched off uh, then shall I go with set and I can use set but there would be multiple values so set is also not a preferred choice so we should use a set which can hold multiple values okay the first input line contains the number of cubes and the next line contains the sizes of the cube so we have the n the number of cubes and we will get it then then we need to create which type of container multi set so i will create a multi set container let's call it towers now i will start from 0 to the n and then i will increment i will get the input so i will create uh, let's say 2 as 0 because we will encounter this so for the for the cubes let's input the cube here now i will start the upper bound function here so if i say that if i say that 
in the beginning since we have the towers empty right there is nothing nothing here so what would be the upper bound upper bound upper bound of 3 it would be 3 as this is the first element so if there is no element found or it exceeds it exceeds if there is a no uh, element so the upper bound is going to give the iterator to the end it gives iterator iterator to the end so i will first create the iterator so we need to create the iterator of multi set blah blah and this one it, it, like this iterator now i will say iterator and to use in login type quantity i should write like this upper bound of q so this at the first pass it is going to give the iterator to the end because 3 doesn't exist this is our first starting point so i will put a little condition here i will say that if iterator is equal equal to tower dot end that means iterator is pointing to the end then what you do you put this into the into the into the set so so we encounter the m3 is here now uh, what's our next let me just copy this so then we have 8 so what is the upper bound of 8 so the next higher value is not present in the upper bound of 8 right and the next higher value next higher value as not present so it it, it it returns to the iterator pointing to the end so we will have a next eight like this now we get two so two what is upper bound of two two upper bound of two is then next higher value present in this container so next higher value is present three right so we should what we should do so the upper bound the iterator is not returning to the end right it is pointing over here right so what we will do is in the else block i will say firstly we will remove this so we will remove this there it is pointing so it is pointing to three right so we will remove this and in place of this i will write two so i will insert the insert the number I have raised here. Uh, let me let me just do it again. So why we are erasing it first of all? Because the, we, as we said, right, uh, we don't require uh, this three anymore because our new point of checking would be two. So I remove this and put this in here. Now next number is one. What is upper bound of one? Upper bound one in this uh, will give two, right? So I will remove this first and put one here. Then upper bound of five. So upper bound of five would be eight. The next higher value. So I will remove this and put 5 and at the end we display the out of all loop we display we display the size and let's just type cost uh, to if there is a compiler warning so okay so this is a pretty simple logic let's try to submit and see if we are passing all the test cases and we should pass the test cases so where is it not here not here sns and the problem name is towers okay okay that's great that was great okay and i hope the problem is clear we did nothing we just did perform we always get cash hold of point of checking and we erase it before inserting and like this we win and if you have in in, in any issue in understanding multi-set iterator upper bound i have all these in the playlist you can check them and then you will have a better understanding thank you